I hope everybody had a good weekend and honored our military. Um, very, very special weekend we just had. I'm really pleased with guys coming back in good shape and uh, the repetitive mistakes are not happening, you know, so it's, uh, it's a good thing. Um, this is a very bright group and uh, bring good intensity to practice. I'd rather say woe than sick them, so I'm going to slow them down a little bit. Do you feel like you've been able to do what you want to do in terms of implementing things for the young guys for the development? Oh, guys? everything. Yeah, we're getting everything. Every such in, every situation, um, hurry up field goals, milk and field goals, two minute, two, two, two point plays today, you know, different things. Some of the guys have to learn the rules too, you know, it's so different, you know, the two minute scenarios for a quarterback and uh, things like that. So we're putting them in every situation we possibly can. Is Joe Tryon getting any closer to being able to have four? Yeah, he's, re he's real close, yeah. Would you expect him to be a full participant or a participant next week in minicamp? Or yes, to yes. Yeah. Bruce, the first time I had a chance to see Kyle in person, um, incredibly accurate. He gets his back to it. It comes out quick. How impressed are you how he's picking up the offense and, and the accuracy especially? Yeah, it's not easy when you're going against our defense because he, he has seen a multitude of blitzes and coverages. So I just, I'm really impressed. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, when having worked with guys for the first time in this offense, He's at, he's at the top of the list as far as the learning curve, and, uh, and he's throwing the football really well. Coach, what have you seen so far as far as Gio Bernard in the screen game? Uh, he's, he obviously has run a bunch of them, and he knows how to get there. You know, we're, we're trying to teach him some of our tricks also. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's a weapon, uh, really, really a hard cover for linebackers and safeties on option routes and everything that he does in third down. Coach, Coach. since the last time we saw you, um, Tom and some of the veterans, What transpired that kind of allowed that to happen? And, and do you have any update on how those guys are doing? Yeah, the, evidently it was a real, real good workout. I wasn't here uh, from everything. What I heard, it was a real good workout. And, uh, you know, he's not in town right now. So um, I would hope some of those guys that are, have been with him would come in here tomorrow. So uh, we'll see. Chris, you're a little thin at running back today. Is that anything particular or just to, to make sure? Well, CJ's wife had their baby. And uh, so he's not here. And Keyshawn decided to work out with those guys. And, uh, you know, that's, that's their choice. But uh, hopefully he'll make a better decision tomorrow. Coach, you mentioned that some of the veterans, you're not, it's not a big deal not to see them out here. But how do you feel about, like, a guy like Tyler Johnson? Is this a place that he should be getting these reps? Yeah, I would wish he'd be over here. You know, um, he's not the dumbass. Of, you know, t Tom's throwing him the ball over there. So I might be with Tom, too. First of all, is, is he here today? Is he still traveling for the Navy contract? Yeah, he's still he's still in travel. Okay, um, and just what do you like about him, the off-field leadership, and then you have the pick six. The I think that speech said everything in itself. You know, uh, I had I had uh, goosebumps listening to him and watching him, and uh, tremendous young man. Coach, is it an unfair perception perception possibly that Ryan Griffin's the odd man out now, but he's stuck around in the league for a reason, right? Yeah, I wouldn't say. There's so many things that can happen between now and September 9th. Uh, no, nobody's out, and that's for sure. Now, Ryan, I mean, he comes out here and he's, he's as efficient as anybody we have. So, uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Would you say um, in, in your talks with Tom, um, you know, would you have an idea of where his knee is at and what all you are expecting him to do next week in mandatory minicamp? Uh, I don't know how much I'll let him do, you know, with guys chasing him around. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. See what the doctors say, and uh, and uh, he may be doing a lot of coaching. Hey, coach, I saw uh, Mickens really taking Darden under his wing, if you will. They had a really good conversation right here, doing different things. I mean, is that what this is all about? Do you see that widespread? And what do you think of that? Oh, I think it's awesome. I, I mean, I go, I go all the way back to Jerome Bettis, who who taught Willie Parker how to take his job, and, uh, and that's what vets do. You help young players because they're going to help you along the line somewhere. And maybe it does, they do take your job, but uh, I mean that's what that's what veterans do, and, and, and Mick's a hell of a vet. And what do you think of Darden? What do you see in front of him? Oh, a lot of explosiveness. It's, a, it's all new to him. You know, he's never played back there, and uh, but he did a great job on, on a blitz today, and uh, he's very very explosive when he puts his hands on the ball. That's for sure. With Trask, is he the last prominent rookie quarterback you have would be what, like Logan in Arizona? Or? Yeah, Logan. Well, Logan was a fourth rounder, but. Uh, uh, probably Andrew Luck was the most recent rookie, and uh, mentally wise, he's not far behind it. But Andrew did in the same offense, and uh, you know it's um, 
what Andrew did that year was unbelievable, but um, I'm not saying he's Andrew Luck, no. but, uh, but mentally, he's, mentally he's really, really sharp. What did you not see today that you wish you had seen? About 10 more players. <laughs> These guys out here working their ass off. But I'd like to see about 10 more of them that are fighting for jobs that they don't know they're fighting for. Is there an update with Joe Jones? Or? I haven't heard whether that baby's come yet or not. <laughs>